Good morning. How is everyone? How are you guys? We're going to let some people hop on on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning. I know yesterday was family day in Canada and I will be the first one to tell you that I had no idea what family day was until Catherine told me yesterday what family day was. So if you are tuning in and you are from Canada, happy family day yesterday. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday in Canada. Um, I love getting to have clients, customers, um, followers, uh, people in my inner circle that are from Canada because I get to learn about things um, and expose myself to things that I had no idea about. Like I had no idea it was family day yesterday in Canada. So I wanted to send a big happy family day. Um, sorry it's late, but I didn't do a video yesterday. So happy family day in Canada to you guys. It's one of the greatest things about social media is that you learn um, and you can communicate and you can have friends and other countries and even other cultures that can teach you so many things to help expand your horizon. And with that was also President's Day here in the United States yesterday. So Mel didn't run, banks weren't open, and it was President's Day. So hope you guys that had the day off yesterday enjoyed your day. Hope it was amazing and thank you guys so much for tuning in with me on this Tuesday morning. We have a very important subject we're going to talk about today. If you guys notice, I'm sitting down, which is totally weird for me on a live, right? I have my notebook in hand. I suggest maybe you grab a notebook if you've got time to get a notebook because we are really, really, really going to talk about an important subject today. I like to be I like to be high strung and hyper and um, off the charts if that makes sense. Like I'm just that's just my personality. But today I have to be serious to put on my serious face. Is that a serious face? What do you guys think? I have to put on a serious face and we have to talk about inflammation. We have to talk about it, guys. It's something I battle. I have, um, I was just recently, almost two months ago, diagnosed with an autoimmune issue. With any of you guys that have an autoimmune issue, know that, yes, I was diagnosed two months ago. However, it's probably been going on for a long time because it seems that autoimmune issues um, take them a little while to figure out because autoimmune themselves usually just kick off more um, symptoms than they do anything else and they can uh, break your immune system down to catch other things more easily. So when I was having all the shingle outbreaks, all that kind of thing, um, it was the shingles, right? But I was having autoimmune issues that caused me to get the shingles, if that makes sense, or caused me, like if I was exposed to um, have worse episodes of it, that kind of thing. So it's so this is something that's really close to my heart personally. And it's also something I get tons and tons of messages about. So if you guys are brand new and you've never seen me before, my name is Amy Smith. I'm a ketogenic meal planner and mentor from Batesville, Arkansas, who has lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet. And that's pretty cool, right? Um, however, my biggest accomplishment so far that I'm most proud of is that we have a free keto community, totally free, totally free keto community with 134,000 members um, who are all losing weight, battling autoimmune issues, dealing with fibromyalgia, dealing with um, thyroid issues, so many things in there that we help and guide you on your keto journey. Um, if you are not currently in our keto community, please write group in the comments below and one of my amazing inner circle will get you the link to join our keto group, which is super awesome, right? One more, two more favors to ask. I am personally maxed out on my friends list. We will be posting a graphic this afternoon about anti-inflammatory foods. Um, that we recommend. It will be out this afternoon, but I need you to click follow and see first on my personal page to get notifications and to see my to see my posts come up first on your newsfeed. That way you can follow my recipes, my keto hacks, my keto tips, my tricks, all of that good stuff um, on my personal page. So I am maxed out on my friends list, but please click follow and see first right here on my personal page. And you can click those three little dots right here and click subscribe and you will get notifications when I go live every, every single time. That's awesome, right guys? Okay, I love if I could talk. Yes, keto meal plans are completely free, Pamela. All you have to do, they're always in our announcement post and we do also send them on emails. So just write meal plan in the comments below. If you need to get on our list to get our free weekly meal plan, those go out at 5 a.m. every single morning. Um, so with that, with that, um, 
you can write meal plan in the comments below and we will get you on our meal plan list and send you the link on that. But please come join us in our Push For Your Better Keto community. We'd love to have you and support you on this journey. Today, what we're gonna talk about is inflammation, guys. Inflammation, how it affects your body, why it affects your body, and if the ketogenic diet can help with inflammation. And if so, we're gonna talk about anti-inflammatory foods that you can ingest, that you can add into your diet. And they are all, these foods we do include in our meal plans um, because Catherine and I both, inflammation um, is something that's super important to us. I'm not gonna get into Catherine's health issues but because uh, that's her story to tell, not mine. But I will tell you that this is something that we talk about and we plan and we do want to make sure you guys are getting the healthy anti-inflammatory foods that you need. Okay, first off, first thing you need to know about inflammation is that most major diseases, we're talking Alzheimer's, we're talking cancer, we're talking all of those things, um, everything even from like the common flu can be linked back to inflammation. Inflammation is your body's way of telling you something's wrong. That's what inflammation is. It's your body speaking to you, telling you there's a problem. Um, whether it's your hands are swollen, your feet are swollen, just inflammation in your joints, around your spinal cord, um, any of those things. Inflammation in general, number one, it can make you gain weight. Number two, it's your body's way of telling you something is wrong. Like, like you know, I mean, okay, what's a fever? Your body's way of telling you something's wrong, right? Like, hey, I'm fighting, hey, something's going on, notice me. Well, same thing with inflammation. It is how your body's talking to you. And when you go into, into the world of the ketogenic diet and things like that, you start learning how to listen to your body. Guys, your body can tell you so many things that you need to listen to. It's super, super important that you listen to what your body's telling you. If you eat a food and you get sick or you feel bad, things like that, that's your body's way of telling you, I don't like this. I don't need this. Those are very important things to listen and look for. Um, we talk about dairy a lot on keto. Um, one of the things that we, um, if you're having issues with inflammation, I strongly suggest you decrease in your dairy amount. That's super important, right? Super important. Deb's got swelling on her spinal cord. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm dealing with some of those issues myself right now, hon, so I can completely relate to that. Inflammation has been, but what, like, in, where does inflammation come from, right? Your body, okay, your body was not made to process, process carbs. Plain and simple, it was not made to do process carbs. Your body wasn't built for that. Your body was built to, built to process meat, veggies, things like that, because that is what was in the world, like before everything was processed and easy and quick and grab, right? It, before all those things, your body does not know how to process processed carbs. It stores it as fat or as inflammation. So the first thing you need to know about inflammation, if you're suffering from, ha drop a comment, drop an emoji in the comments below if, you've, if you're suffering from infl inflammation or if you've ever suff suffered from inflammation. And also take this moment to share this video out Please click share. We do do um, we do do contest or, or not contest giveaways I should say. For every time this video is shared, write how many times you shared it in a keto group in a medical group. This would be an awesome video to share. If you're in any type of autoimmune support issue groups, please share this video in that group. This will be super helpful for those people. And you'll write how many groups you shared it in, or if you shared it on your personal page, we go back and we pick three winners from each video to receive a You Can Keto prize box, just as a thank you for sharing this video and for helping others. Because that's what our community is all about, is helping others and giving back. And by sharing this video, you guys are helping others and giving back. Pretty cool, huh? Um, what... So when you do keto and you remove, one of the first things that you do is that you remove, okay, you remove processed carbs from your diet. That's one of the very first things, sugars and processed carbs, both of which are what cause inflammation. They're major, major red flags from inflammation, okay? Um, inflammation can cause migraines. I'm not sure if you guys knew that, but that pressure and things like that in your body can actually trigger migraines. Does that make sense? Um, 
And now we're going to talk about some things you can do on the ketogenic diet. Yep, you've been eating sugar and you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you focus on the keto diet, here are some things to include, include in your diet on the ketogenic diet to help with inflammation. These are things that you should be including in your meal plan every single week that actually focus on inflammation. Number one, please try to try to cut down on the amount of dairy you, you eat. Dairy um, has been linked to many, many, many cases of inflammation. So reduce the number of dairy on your, eat. yes, heavy whipping cream is keto, okay? It is a keto, it, it is keto, it doesn't spike your blood sugar, etc. It is a keto food. But I would recommend, I would recommend stepping back on the um, dairy and the heavy whipping cream, etc. Why, just to see if it helps with your inflammation. Um, and that's also when you're doing like an autoimmune protocol diet, they also suggest that as well. That way it can give your body a reset and see if, if your body can process dairy correctly or if it causes inflammation. Here are a list. I'm gonna give you a list of a few of the foods that you should be including in your diet. Okay, everybody's asking for examples of processed carbs, okay? Um, processed carbs are things that are processed. Bread, wheat, um, all of those things are processed carbs. Box foods, like box mac and, mac and cheese, all of that stuff are processed carbs. Um, natural carbs are your vegetables. Things like that. Those are all natural carbs, okay? And if you're accounting net carbs, they are totally okay on the ketogenic diet. You need vegetables, okay? You need vegetables. How do you know if you have inflammation? If you're sore, if you're swollen, those are great ways to know if you have inflammation as well, okay? Here's your list of foods. Ready? And I will be making a post later today on my personal page, so please click follow and see first. Super important. That way you'll be able to get this actual list of what are my suggestions that you need to add into your diet to help with inflammation. Broccoli. Broccoli is a great, great, great thing to add, okay? Yes, box protein bars are considered a uh, processed carb. Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Super, like, they, they actually help with inflammation and they're a great healthy fat. Double, double, double thing there. Turmeric which we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. Stay tuned on the turmeric, we're gonna talk about that. Ginger, absolutely, ginger is absolutely awesome to add to your recipes, to your spices. Um, ginger is a is something that Catherine and I have talked a lot about recently, adding in our recipes, because we feel it's so important on the ketogenic diet. If you add, um, yes, you count vegetables if you're tracking. Just make sure you do the net carb, which is you reduce, you deduct the dietary fiber in them. But yes, I track all my carbs, but check the net carbs. So ginger is something that Catherine and I have spoken about, about adding it to a lot of our recipes because it's such an important part of your diet that people overlook. And it's an easy, easy way to help fight, fight inflammation. I add ginger to my coffee of the morning sometimes. That's great. If you're doing um, some type of shake, if you're doing just any type of recipe, you can add ginger in. There's not a specific amount on these, by the way, guys. These are just things that um, help. Avocado. Guys, I mean, I think I need some stock and some avocado. Like, I think I need to buy an avocado company. Did, is that a thing? I don't know, but I think I need to buy some stock in it. I have a saying that, and there is a, even a shirt over on our gear site on youcanketogear.com that says, and I quote, an avocado a day keeps the doctor away. Avocado is literally a miracle, a miracle food, in my opinion. It is the keto superfood. It is absolutely awesome. So many health benefits to having avocado. I do an avocado every single day. Every single day, okay? Mushrooms. Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. That is, I, confession, transparency. You know, you know me, guys. Totally honest. Totally transparent with you guys. Want to tell, make sure that you guys all know me transparently. Mushrooms are great for anti-inflammation, and I don't eat them. Just going to say, I cannot do mushrooms. Like, I'm not allergic to them, so I try to cook with them, okay? 
Um, if you're not allergic to something, I strongly suggest cooking with it because butter makes everything better. I'm a firm believer that butter makes everything better. So I do cook with them some and add some butter on them and season them and try to do that with the mushrooms because um, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but that's how I fix mine. Um, if you don't like, we're talking, everybody's talking about avocados again. If you don't, um, if you don't like avocados, have you tried doing, um, have you guys tried doing it in guacamole? Um, guacamole makes everything better too. I had a burger, um, Saturday night. It had, it was guacamole and a burger on top of it. And I ate it that way. It was so, so, so good. Just so you know, so, so, so good. And the last food I really want to talk about that is so good for inflammation is, are you ready? Bone broth. Grass-fed bone broth. Chicken or beef, either one's fine. But I do the beef bone broth from Kettle and Fire every single day. Guys, there's a difference in bone broth and stock. A massive difference. Bone broth is also one of those products that it, the word bone broth is trending right now. Okay, it is a super, super trending word. Lots of people are getting into bone broth because of the benefits, okay? Because of the health benefits, well, all these cheaper companies are putting stuff on the shelves that say bone broth. But when you look at the ingredients, it says stock, okay? Which means they just literally, literally, are putting bone broth on it just because it's a trending word. Stock is not the same thing as bone broth. When you're selecting your bone broth, I highly recommend reading your ingredients, okay? And making sure it does not say stock on the ingredients. Super, super important, okay? Um, I'm gonna share with you guys how I fix my bone broth, especially when I'm having an inflammation flare up. If I'm having an issue with inflammation flare up, I'll take I will actually do a full cup. Usually I do half a cup of bone broth every single day religiously. But what I do is I'll take bone broth. I will heat it up, okay? Heat up your bone broth. Um by the way, oh, my shirt, what does my shirt say? My favorite people have four legs. That's what my shirt says. Got to love my buddy. He's he's, you know, I'm a dog person. But don't tell him a dog because he doesn't know. So what I do is I heat my bone broth. I'll do a full cup. I add a tablespoon of ginger to it and maybe a little cinnamon if you want um, on the top of it. And I drink it that way. And I add some pink salt to it as well. Add some pink salt. Pink salt does not cause inflammation, by the way. It, it doesn't cause inflammation. It's not anything like table salt. You, your pink salt is awesome in your bone broth. That is how I make mine. Okay. Why do you still get inflammation eating like this? Sometimes, because something's wrong with your body. Um, Mona, it's, it's your body's way of telling you something's going on. You could be catching a cold. You could be doing something like that. That is why you still battle inflammation. We're not curing anything here, guys. These are just ways to help treat things. And they also are ways to keep inflammation from occurring. That's super important. Okay. Super, super important. I guess I give my... But I make Buddy drink bone broth, okay? I make Buddy drink bad word, ba bad word, bone broth. I have Buddy drink bone broth as well. It's super, it's great for dogs too, by the way. So um, Kettle on Fire is the only brand that I recommend. It's the You Can Keto approved bone broth. It's Kettle on Fire. You can only get it in the United States currently, but they are working on Canada. Um, Canada Health is such a great thing about protecting what people in Canada can purchase and why it's purchased there. Um, so just letting you know that. But Bone Broth, uh, we do have a discount link that's just for our keto community. So if you need the discount link to Bone Broth, just comment Bone Broth in the comments below. And one of my awesome inner circle will get this to you, okay? Um, super, super important on the bone broth that you don't get stock. You can make your own. You don't have to purchase this, by the way. Um, do not. You do not have to purchase it. Um, you can make your own. There's bone broth recipes over in uh, um, my You Can Keto um, Facebook page, Push For Your Better. Just so you know. The other thing I wanted to talk about, the last, very last thing I wanted to talk about that you can do and you can take for inflammation. If you are really battling with daily inflammation, I also recommend a product called Xanthamax. You guys can see that, it's probably, it is only available online. Um, 
And if you need what, we talk about this in our keto community, okay? And I'll put the link, I'll actually make a post about the benefits of Xanthamax today. It does have turmeric in it. It is awesome for inflammation. Huge, like amazing, 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 awesome for inflammation, okay? Um, if you need info on this, you just write group in the comments below and I'll make sure you're in our keto community and that way we will talk about the benefits of Xanthamax. It's a capsule that you can take up to three times a day. I take mine of a morning with my smart coffee. Together we call that dose. So if you hear people talking about dose in our communo keto community, that's what it is. It's a smart coffee and the Xanthamax together. Um, I hope this was super information informative for you guys today about inflammation. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below or send me a direct message on my personal page. I'll be happy to help you out. Hope you guys um, write value in the comments below. Write value in the comments below if you got something out of today's video and make sure you share it. That way you can win a You Can Keto prize pack, but you can also help others, which is what we're all about. Follow my post at hashtag you can keto, and I will see you guys Thursday morning in the keto kitchen with a very, 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 very simple keto recipe in the keto kitchen. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys Thursday. Keep it keto.